Hello and welcome aboard Sovereign Grace for another Pastor's Day Off video. And I'm going to try and do today what I wasn't able to do a couple of weeks ago, and that is to actually try and get up through Summerleyton Bridge. Uh, if you remember, if you watched the video, it's a very hot day, and uh, and they don't open the bridge on those hot days, although they gave out no prior warning to it being shut. But it's a much cooler day today, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get through. The big problem today, however, is not knowing whether to believe the weather forecast or not. Uh, every five minutes it keeps changing, and uh, one minute it's saying it's going to be nice and sunny today, the next minute it says it's going to be thunderstorms. And of course you might appreciate that that could be a bit of a problem, seeing as I'm on a sailboat and uh, I've got a lightning conductor stuck right in the middle of it. But hopefully there won't be a problem. We're going to enjoy it anyway. But I've got some guests crew with me today and I'm going to introduce you to them uh, in a moment. And uh, I, we've got uh, young people in training. This is a lot of fun, but I know that they're very good at doing... Uh, uh, work on the boat and steering, so I've got no worries at all. Well, we're just coming up on uh, Herring Fleet here, uh, and there's a bit of a sad sight on the left-hand side as we come by the moorings because those uh, uh, those uh, yellow markers that you see just this end of the uh, the BA moorings, unfortunately, that's a sunken boat. Uh, and it's sunk fairly recently. It's uh, I don't know who it belongs to, um, but uh, I am told that when the tide does go out, you can see the you can see the top of it. But I never like to see boats uh, uh, come into that kind of end. But there we are. It does happen, and thankfully they've marked it so that we can steer clear of it. Uh, there is a bit more activity out on the water today because it is now the summer season. Uh, so we've got a couple of higher craft in front of us, and there's another one coming up through. Um, uh, but that just brings life to the river and it's always enjoyable. Now, I said I've got guest crew with me today and I, I will introduce you to them. Uh, down here, going from right to left, there's Paul. Uh, very excited to be on board today. I think he's been looking forward to today uh, like a little child. Uh, you can tell he's pleased to be here. And uh, right next to him there, that is Alicia, uh, Paul's wife. And uh, this isn't the first time they've been out on the boat. They came out last year. Uh, and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, but it was a, a not very nice day last time they were here. Uh, but it's a much better day today. And at the helm here, now this is the real star. This is Elliot. Now Elliot is a fantastic helmsman, and uh, he uh, he's going to be doing a lot of the uh, helming today because he thoroughly enjoys it. Uh, but he knows what he's doing, and I can just sit back today and let him do the work. And finally, right down there in the cabin there. You can see she's not looking up because she's oh there she is that's Faith uh, and again uh, a very uh, a competent crew member and I'm sure she'll be doing lots today but keep with us as we journey along as I said before the first obstacle is Summerleyton Bridge but I'm not anticipating any problems today it's not a hot day uh, and in a minute when we get get up to Summerleyton I I will uh, radio them but I'm sure that we'll be able to get through but keep with us and there'll be more sights along the way. Well here we are coming up on uh, Summer Layton and uh, the moorings on the left hand side. There doesn't seem to be actually so many people moored at them but that might actually be a good sign because two weeks ago there were people there who wanted to get through the bridge who couldn't because it was shut. Uh, so uh, hopefully we won't get a problem but uh, I did look ahead. The, uh, the, the, the uh, bridge is, has got a single flag on it which tells me it should be in operation but then also two weeks ago it had a single flag and it wasn't. Uh, but I really don't anticipate a problem. So in a minute, if it is in the closed position, I'll uh, I'll radio them, and uh, uh, hopefully this time we'll, we will get them to open for us. Yeah, there we are as we approach Summerleyton Bridge. It is already in the open position, and the uh, the operator has said on the radio that we can go straight through. Um, so uh, that's not a problem. Uh, it does sometimes do that. If there's a train that's not going to be along for a while and somebody has come through, they do tend to leave it in the open position uh, so that uh, uh, it's free for boats to come through. Uh, but usually if it's shut, 
you don't have to wait too long before they can open it again but again it's doing very well uh, it's looking a bit uh, tatty these days but that's uh, that structure is over 120 years old and it's still working perfectly all right uh, so um, yeah hopefully it will keep going for many more years yet coming up on the, uh, the, the point that uh, the Waveney separates. Uh, the Waveney actually continues round onto the to the right there which goes down to uh, Beckles uh, which is a very nice place to visit but we're not going to go that far down today and the left fork there is what goes down to Orton Broad and hopefully if the weather stays fine we'll head down that way a little bit later on but uh, uh, for the moment, uh, see, he, he does know what he's doing. He, he corrected that himself, young Elliot, and uh, uh, he just just uh, moved his position, and that's how, how we ended up heading slightly towards the bank. But uh, I've not had to touch this tiller at all once we left the dock. Uh, he, uh, I've been able to leave it up to others, and they've done him very, very well. But we're going to head down here, and not far down here is the Waveney River Centre, and there's quite a lot there. And I'll tell you more about that when we arrive, but we're going to go down, see if we can get a mooring uh, so that we can have our, our lunch there. Well, here we are moored up at the Waveney River Centre. We did manage to get in, but it's a lot busier uh, now than I've uh, seen it for a while. But then there's been a lot of changes over the winter. One of the first changes are these boats here that you can see moored up uh, on this side of the centre, uh, because now these are uh, holiday hire boats, which they've just bought in uh, this year at the River Centre. Uh, and so people are able to start their holidays here on the Southern Broads. Uh, uh, new companies are coming in now. Uh, but it does kind of limit the number of moorings. Normally I try and get in over there, but uh, uh, on the other side, but uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, reserve spaces today. But it doesn't matter, we're here. And what a change uh, since I've been here last. Uh, there's been a lot going on, but this is the height of the season now. And so right behind us here, uh, we have uh, the campsite and you can see the swimming pool in the background there and uh, the little cabins uh, up there on the hill. In fact, there's really an awful lot here for those who want to come on holiday. Uh, as we come back round here, uh, you've got these apartments which are uh, just behind these boats here. And then further on, uh, past the uh, the shop that's in the in the background there uh, there are actually some very nice lodges so this is a very good place to come uh, just for a, a camping holiday if you uh, if you're not or an apartment holiday if you're not particularly interested in going out on the boats but uh, this is certainly one of those places that on the southern rivers is very nice to come to and uh, uh, certainly is is becoming a lot more popular and uh, and certainly a, a good place if you're on the southern river to come and have a stop over it you do have to pay 
stay for an overnight mooring uh, but it, they are such nice moorings and there are good facilities here that it's worth the payment but anyway we're going to stop here for a while we're going to have some lunch and hopefully if the weather still holds out we're going to head on down uh, after this and do a turn around Alton Broad before we head back up to St Olives so join us for the rest of the journey if you can well, we're leaving the river, uh, Waveney River Centre now as we've uh, uh, spent a little bit of time there having lunch and uh, it's good to see the place so popular. Uh, the southern rivers, they really are coming alive again. I know the northern rivers are perhaps uh, the, mo the more popular place for people to have their holidays. But uh, with the new hire fleet that's open here along with others that are still on the southern broads, uh, it does really seem that uh, uh, the, broad, so the southern broads is starting to come alive again. And there's plenty of people there, plenty of people in tents, plenty of people in the lodges. Uh, it really is a nice place to go. But what we're going to do now, we're going to head... Uh, back down the River Waveney but we're going to turn right and we're going to go down and we'll have a, a little run round uh, Alton Broads hopefully uh, before the forecasted rain comes in. Of course on the Southern Broads we get exactly the same problem as you get on the Northern Broads people out on uh, day boats and here we've got a little slipper launch you could almost uh, water ski off the back of that, the speed he's going and the, the wash that he's creating, but there we are. As long as he's enjoying himself, as I've said before, we've got to learn to share. Uh, even though people like that do make the river a little bit bumpy, but he's not getting in my way and he's not spoiling my enjoyment. Here's someone coming uh, behind him, of course, at a somewhat more of a sedate pace, and again, that's what it's all about. It's about relaxing, it's about taking time, it's about unwinding. Why would you want to go fast, to be truthful? Uh, why would you want to speed? Just slow down and relax. Well, here we are exiting the Waveney and uh, we're turning now into uh, Alton Dyke. <coughs> And this uh, will take us down to Alton Broad. Well, here we are now on uh, Alton Broad itself, a much wider expanse of water. Um, usually, uh, on a day like this, you'd expect to see a lot of uh, sailing boats out because we've got the sailing club uh, just over here in front of us uh, but there doesn't seem to be any today I don't know why uh, maybe because it's just a weekday but uh, being the uh, school holidays uh, I thought we would have a bit more uh, although it is a bit uh, blustery today so maybe not the most perfect day uh, for sailing but we're gonna just head down uh, on uh, Alton Broad just to turn around uh, and I'll whoop. There you go, that's how blustery it is. That almost took my uh, uh, my cap off. Um, but there we are. Uh, I managed to save it in time. Uh, but we're just going to take a turn around uh, Alton Broad before we uh, uh, head back out and head back towards St Olives again. Well, here as we come uh, across uh, Alton Broad, there's a few things to uh, spot here on the right hand side here. Uh, we've got Nicholas Everett Park, which is a lovely park to come into, and so at the end of August uh, there will actually be the Alton Regatta and a lot of the acti activities of that go on there. But it's a nice place to come and sit by the broads, and uh, on a day that's not so blustery, and I hope it's not being too noisy on the microphone, uh, it really is a nice place to sit, especially when there's the sailing boats out. But then coming up on the right-hand side here, we've got the, uh, the, the marina, um, and uh, if you're on a, a higher boat, you're here on holiday, you can go in there. Uh, it, I think if I remember rightly, it's eight pounds a night, but there are uh, toilet and shower facilities there. It really is a nice place to stay. Um, and then uh, uh, coming left of that again, right in front of us now, is Mutford Lock. 
uh, and that is the other access other than Yarmouth uh, out to the sea uh, and if you've got a private boat you, you're allowed to go through there if I remember rightly it's 11 or 12 pounds to go through but if you come back within 24 hours uh, you don't pay coming back but of course if you're on a higher boat you're not allowed to go through there this is the limit of navigation so you have to turn around and come back and I'm just going to tell my helmsman here because he's doing a really good job uh, but we do need to be turning around and going in the other direction so I'm going to ask him to do that and he's doing that and as he does that you can see there right in front of us now that is the wherry in and you can already see that there are higher boats moored up there and again you have to pay it's 10 pounds a night there but um, that is redeemable either in full or in part in the wherry for you to have a, a, a meal and they do a really nice carvery in there coming further round still well that's a sign there of what uh, Alton Broad used to be um, there's uh, a lot of derelict land there but that's of significance to me because that land there is actually where the boat sheds were where this boat was made the Pegasus boat in fact actually there's still on the road signs there the road markings there some indication that that's what it used to be but otherwise you've got these old uh, old uh, warehouse type buildings riverside buildings Dockland buildings that typically like all the others or many others in the country have been turned into some very very nice apartments very nice uh, uh, flats and uh, certainly if you are lucky enough to have one of the ones on the end you've got the balcony there and you've got a bit of a river view but it can get a bit windy as it is today uh, so not always going to be the best place to sit but wouldn't that be nice and uh, possibly even to have one of the moorings there but um, again uh, if you can afford it why not uh, but uh, I'm happy with what I got but anyway we're going to head out back it's, it's getting a bit windy look at the, uh, uh, the, the the choppiness of the water there and those clouds out there are looking a little bit angry uh, but hopefully we'll get back to um, St Olives before uh, any inclement weather comes in but again along the way uh, enjoy the sights enjoy the journey with us and again relax and take time for yourselves <laughs>
Well, there you go, that's the end of this episode of uh, Pastor's Day Off. Uh, I think we got back on the dock just in time because those clouds, if you see behind me, are not looking particularly nice at all. But uh, we've had a good day and uh, it's been enjoyable and uh, it's been very relaxing. And again, this is what this is all about. If you can take time for yourselves, if you can relax and look after yourselves, uh, then it, it can only do you good. And this does me good. But uh, for now, hope you've enjoyed the journey and uh, I'll see you next time. I'm out for Pastor's Day Off. All the best, keep well.